Hello everybody and welcome to Fricani FX where I'm gonna show you today how to create a VHS look that you just saw and for making this you will need uh, some VHS stock footage that I will provide in the description, the link below and also you need a medium After Effects um, level okay so if, you, if it's your first time with After Effects just check any other basic tutorials because you know you need some level on this Alright, so we're gonna start by um, going to our footage. Um, the first thing that you should do is that uh, you should add a new adjust adjust ah, adjustment layer. I'm I'm so sorry. Okay, I'm I'm Spanish and uh, uh, my English is pretty bad, so um, I'm gonna do my best so that you can understand me. And you should go to the contrast effect, and you wanna you would like to add two of these, okay? The first one, you're gonna put 20 and the second one, you're gonna put minus 15 and you might wonder, well, it just did nothing well, actually, if you come to the darker areas you would see that there's a difference because actually VHS looks like this it doesn't have so much detail and uh, if you only want to uh, to make the VHS effect to a single video, there will be no problem. But uh, I do highly recommend you to pre-compose everything, in case you have some effects on top, um, different layers, and so. So we're gonna pre-compose this. We're gonna call this effects. And after doing this, the first thing that we would like to do is to split the channels, the RGB channels, into three different layers. So we're gonna make three copies of this and we're gonna go to the effects um, and choose uh, change channels, all right? So we go to the first one, uh, red, we leave it as red and we put green off, and blue off and you put it to the add mode go again to the effects red off green you let it like green blue off again go to add change channels red off green off okay so now we have uh, our composition in changing different channels as you can see now we can make collaboration and things like that and what we want to do is not offset a little bit our channel. So we're going to take the red and the blue. And the red we're going to put a uh, 970. And the, the blue one we're going to put it 950. So we see this color operation that looks pretty cool. And now we want to blur out a little bit our footage. So we're gonna take a fast blur. So we're gonna take uh, the red one. Make sure that you mark the repeat pixels. And at the at the blur, we're gonna put, for example, twenty five. At the green one, fifty five. And at the blue one, forty five. Okay, but we don't want our video to look like this, right? So we're going to pre-compose this. We're gonna call this color. And we're gonna set this layer to color mode so that it applies only to the color, not to the whole thing. So we can see now that there's a very nice difference in the colors. So you can see the sky, it changes everything, it changes in one side is like a little bit blue and the other side is like uh, a little bit uh, red and um, we can see also that here we have these annoying edges one over here and the other one over here so to fix that we're gonna apply the format we come here to composition and the adjustments and we're gonna put it 1440 to 43 that is the format that is often used in the VHS films Go there. Uh, we pre-compose this like a color aberration. 
and we scale it up. Oh, a little bit more. That's it. We scale it up. And okay, this looks pretty nice right now. So the next thing that we have to do is come a new adjustment adjustment layer of I can pronounce that. And you wanna give it a more VHS effect. So you're gonna get another fast blur. Uh, bit pixels and you're gonna put for example three maybe. Maybe five. Yeah, five. So that it blurs out. And now you're gonna put a um I don't know how do you call this mascara de enfoque. It's like uh, the effect um what's it here or this one mascara de enfoque. I don't know how do you call it, but um, I don't know like focus mask or something like that should be called. And you're gonna put it 100, and the radio you want to turn it to 10. So so you would see now there's a very nice difference also in the in the image. Maybe we should put a little bit less than blur. Okay. Okay, that looks pretty cool. And um, you know about the color aberration, there's a huge way of, you know, changing that. So um, if you want to make the red giant way, uh, there's one way to do it. If you want to give it like a Kung Fury look, there's a lot of ways you can do this, but I'm going to show you the basic way that the plugging of Red Giant does. So now the next thing that we should do, it's add the, um, it's come and add the, the, the VHS footage. And I found these things, this stuff in the internet after hours and days and weeks. I finally found this and it looks pretty nice. Um, actually, I think that these are, these are the footages that the plugin of Red Giant uses. I don't know who uploaded this, but I don't know if these are the footages that Red Giant uses, but I really like it, so I'm gonna use this. Actually, I'm gonna post this in the in the link below in the description. Um and now you have to import this but don't don't come um import it like this, okay? Because it is gonna appear it is gonna appear like this, okay, and you don't want that. So you have to come press Control I or come to File, Import, File, and you want to select the first one. Go down, hold Shift, and select the last one, and make sure that you mark this uh, JPEG sequence. Open, and what this does is that automatically it uh. It converts uh, these uh, images into a video. So if you put it down here, okay, if you come here, you will see that uh, actually this is pretty short. So you might wonder, well, I have to duplicate it here and here. Um, no, you, you, if you have a long composition, you will spend a lot of time, and this is not the best way to do it. So just have to come here, right click on it, and go to interpret a file material principle. And here, when it says loop, go to maybe 100. So you will see now this is so much longer. What this does is that it loops the whole thing. So you now go to right click, transform and adjust to composition. Boop, and there's it. Um, now, depending on how bad you want your composition to look, you might turn it to soft light or to hard light. Actually, I'm gonna leave it to hard light. Um, there's also a thing that uh, when you put it normal, you would see that here in the edge, there's no problem. But when you put, for example, hard light, Here, you see, it, there's a, there's that thing that, you know, doesn't look cool later. So, you have to scale it up just a little bit, just maybe five. That's it. Okay. 
yes, it looks fun like that. So, uh, where's the mouse? Okay, here. So you will see, okay, this is, this looks pretty cool already. Um, the last thing that we will, we can do is make now a, another adjustments layer. Um, you will see that here, in many VHS tapes, there's like a line over here that distorts the image. Um, I don't see it now properly. Okay, I'll run here. So you want to take this adjustment layer that you just created, take the rectangle tool, and mask it like over here, not much. Yeah, something like that. you want to expand that to the whole thing and fade it out a little bit like maybe 10 I know you want to take the 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 um, deformation with waves I don't know how is that exactly called so this wave and you want to take the the wave the type of wave to um soft um noise okay you want to put it to to zero you want to have this horizontal and you can play with it okay you can play with this maybe you would like to put it like that you can play with this there are, there are a lot of different ways all right. Um, also, the, the speed you want to make that really fast moving. You know, so maybe you can put it to twenty. So what this does is that it moves the wall thing. Okay, and when you pass the the next photograms, you see this is like moving and um, gives like an old look. Um, it's pretty nice. Um, this is it. Uh, yeah, it looks pretty cool like this. If you want to also add um, the, num the numbers that I added in the composition that you saw, you could maybe uh, come and make a new layer, a solid layer, and come to numbers. And I downloaded a VCR a font that uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna post it also in the in the description below just in case you want to have it. Uh, okay, so that's okay. And you want this to have a white. You want to have your number white. Um, number code thirty. Okay, like this, and don't uh don't change the the scale don't scale it up in here because you want to look it like all oh, like you know oops so scale it down here maybe three hundred so that you know it fades so that so that it looks like bad it doesn't look like a you know what I mean <laughs> so you put it about here um and that's it you finish it there you go there you have your you have a very nice VHS effect and I hope you enjoyed uh, the next tutorial I'm going to show you how to glitch it a little bit and um, also we'll make different tutorials of I don't know maybe how to make uh, the computer look and stuff like that so I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time see ya